we will never disappear we will never go anywhere I, I, I know you saw the story of Thailand we want to disappear with my wife to Thailand and uh, those are just online bullies because even if it was to disappear you can disappear to Thailand there are so many other beautiful countries and as I always say <laughs> You can just disappear to Thailand. There is America, there is South Africa. And uh, it's a testimony that we have been here for the last five years, so we're not disappearing anytime soon. And people who get their money with weird ways, I'm sure you know what happens to them. Even if it's not the same same person that will be affected, their generations are cast. Jobs to the youth will be created, as far as we are concerned. In direct and indirect way, we have over 3,000 jobs in this country. That's, uh, that explains a lot. Our open air market will be called Vadula Markets. Sokoyetu Mashinani. Today we are not launching something new. Uh, I'm sure uh, we will put our house in order first. And then I'm sure next month when we have a live event, we will launch something new to incorporate gold escape greenhouses in Somaliland. That means that we are growing and very soon we will be in uh, Sierra Leone and Uganda. So that means gold escape greenhouses is growing and that's why we have the negative energy on social media. As I, as a chairman, am planning to head there in the next two weeks to go and officially open the greenhouses and set up an office. But we have already incorporated the company in Somaliland, which I'm sure a lot of people are trying to enter into Somaliland, but I think it's not possible. So we are a company that fears God and we believe in God. And that's why God is opening doors for us. Sure you, our investors and other stakeholders, that these allegations are false and the same have not been substantiated in any form. The aggrieved parties, if any, have, either inst have neither instituted any legal proceedings to substantiate their claims, not issued any formal publication or statement in this regard. These allegations are narrative being propagated by former employees terminated for gross misconduct and bloggers who have, been, who have no disregard for the truth and wish to unjustly enrich themselves.